Hey everybody, it's Yuki for Yuki's Gaming News for today, and today we are talking about the recap of Summer Game Fest 2024 that happened on Friday. And as mentioned in our preview video for Summer Game Fest last Monday, some of the games that you're going to see on this article are the one same thing shown um, from last week's article. So we're going to take a look at it for today's gaming news. So what was announced? On Friday, well, we do have a new Lego Horizons game. New Lego Horizons Adventures is coming to PS5. The long rumored Lego Horizons Adventures game kicked off some of the Game Fest 2024 with with Alloy and the Robot Dinosaurs banned from the No Freakies and Deers. And you can see that here it is coming to PC, Steam, Epic Game Store, Nintendo Switch, PS5 this holiday season. If you're into LEGO Horizons, it is for you. The next game, if you are into Harry Potter and you like Quidditch, the, the little fantasy game that is inside of Harry Potter, it is for you. Harry Potter fans looking for something to write to tie them over until the next after Hogwarts Legacy last year can finally look forward to Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. But it launches for PC on the Epic Game Store, Steam, Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox on September 3rd, 2024. So if you're into the game of Quidditch from Harry Potter, this game is for you. No More Room, No More Room Early Access arrives at this Halloween. So if you are a horror game fan, Game of Green, I'm looking at you, buddy. This is for you. Gory action, brutal, brutal combat, and gruesome enemies will be here on this game. It's a co-op game, and we get weapons. Plenty of replayability for no more room. Okay, Star Wars Outlaws trailer. Teaser trailer with a gameplay, which will be launching at August 30th, 2024. And you're going to be using the protagonist. K Best as she makes her way through and or around the Empire. So Star Wars fans, it is for you. Civilization number seven is shown here. And is coming to twenty twenty five on consoles. So if you're into the Civilization series with Sid Mercer Marriers, that is for you. That's gonna be coming up next year. 2025 PC and consoles. Okay, you might get another trailer soon because this is not until this is not until 2025. But they will have a gameplay series to showcase in August. If you are a Dragon Ball fan, as mentioned in the preview last week, Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero will release it for October. October 11, 2024. So, if you like some Dragon Ball action, it is for you in October. PC, Steam, PS5, Xbox Series and X and S on October 11. If you are characters like characters including Goku, Frieza, Boo, Majin Boo most likely, Vegeta, that is for you as well. Pre-order will um there's going to be some pre-order unlocked. If you're interested. Batman Arkham Shadow is on the board. For those of you who saw the preview video last Monday. we I talked about how there was a Batman Arkham Shadow VR. And this is the VR game mentioned in that area. In that particular thing. And it's coming to MetaQuest 3. MetaQuest 3 arrives sometime this fall. And most likely, this is going to be one of the games that is going to be on there for the launch. Uh, the new footage so a VR game, this VR game, arrived in Summer Game Fest with really a cinematic look of Bruce Brain, Wayne that might seem a bit familiar to Arkham fans. The trailer, which has a Rat King as the main villain, also packs in a few Easter eggs for those looking to nod at the rest of Gotham's criminal. So yes, there is there this is your VR game for the uh, Summer Game Fest. 
For those of you interested in Street Fighter 6 and Fatal Fury, this is for you. This is a crossover event coming to Season 2 of the game with four new characters, including Terry and Mai, will be joining the battle. Also on the way will be classic Street Fighter characters like Bison, who seems to be sporting a new look, and Alina. It will be rolling out through the remainder of this year. For those of you who were talking about the, the preview last week, we also had a part where they said Bloomhouse Games, and this is the one from Bloomhouse Game. And it is a Crystal Theater of Idols, Fear the Spotlight, and more. So a few games that are going to be in the, on the board. So if you do not know who Bloomhouse Games are, they are responsible for the popular Five Nights at Freddy's games. And now they're into the now into the game business. Okay, they're going to have two, a variety of horror games like Eyes Out, Half Mermaid, Cozy Game Pal, Perfect Gar Garbage. Me Play Studio, Play Me Studio, at Vermoa. The goal is to offer games more than one kind of player. It kicks off with Fear of the Fear the Spotlight, Fear the Spotlight, and other titles like Grave, Seasons, Sleep Awake, Crystal Theater of Idols. So this is their this is their little project here. For those of you interested in the Power Rangers, in particular. Rita's Rewind, old school style beat 'em up is on the board for you. Power Rangers, back in the 90s. Power Rangers Rita's Rewind was revealed this past Friday, the old school style video game series. These players team up and fight, fight off the bad guys and other iconic villains while playing as the original Rangers. So far, this game strength to be the variety of activities it offers, including the the beat 'em up, FPS, and racing gameplay. So this could be three styles of game in one. Then the next game they put up on the board is Mecha Break, set beta test date for August. It is a new trailer here, as we can see here. There is no specific date for the beta, but the presentation was also revealed that um the proba that we have um sorry Takayaki Yanes from Metal Gear Gundam and Armored Core and Junya Ishiki. For those of you who are familiar with these um game names, please do so. Please have some fun with that. There is going to be an August beta test. But there's no specific date in August yet. The first descendant gets on the board from Nexon. Nexon, if you are not aware, is the creator of Maple Story, a game that I might actually return to on the on the channel, on the main channel here, very soon, just in case I need to have a break from competition. It's going to be coming up on July 2. 2024. I actually played a little bit of the beta test. I believe that was last year though. And it will be available for PC via Steam, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and X and S. It's a date that was revealed with a new trailer highlighting the project's fast-paced exosuit action. Nexo fan, Nexon fans can expect to hear more lunch they launch elements and events as they launch closer. With a few, with only a few weeks to go, it's going to be more more longer before we hear more. For those of you into Alan Wake, there is going to be DLC that is now available. This was written on the day of the fest, so if you are interested in Alan Wake, the number two. There is the Night Springs DLC is now available today because this was written on the day of the event. So if you guys are into this, feel free to get this one. Then we have a new skate game. 
update the game. Gameplay reveals content playtests are on the way. EA's long dormant day skate franchise is back and during Summer Game Fest 2024. We got a look, good look at what its gameplay is like. Um, but it's still in pre-alpha according to EA. But there is going to be, it's going to be on console as well. And you can go ahead and sign up for playtest if you guys are interested. Keep in mind, skate, I have not seen a skate game for a long time. It's been that long. I, I I have Skate 2, believe it or not, on PS3. That's how long ago that I think it was that I've heard of this game. So, yes. For those of you into the Valorant game, it is coming to console. Um, for those of you who are not aware, Valorant is that one game where you have the powers and you have to take down enemies and team, team play. You have to play team and buy Riot game. It is bringing its competitive fantasy shooter to PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. It's a big move for the first person shooter, which has otherwise remained exclusively on PC. It will not feature cross play, however, but there's going to be pro cross progression, however. So, no cross play. But if you, for example, play on PC and you want to play on console, your progression on PC will carry over to to the to the console version, and there will be a limited beta test starting on this Thursday, June 14, 2024. Uh, yeah, Thursday, June 14, 2024, with full launch to console sometime in the future. For those of you interested in Among Us in terms of the uh, in terms of the clip and series we mentioned about CBS, this is for you. So Inner Slot vented into Summer Game Fest, no pun intended, to show off our first look at the animated series based on a hit show of party game Among Us. The video follows a long way for more information on this show version and video and Studios Gameplay Gaming Project, revealing its art style and how the star cast, star the cast fit in. So, as we mentioned in the preview on Monday of last week, we mentioned that this is going to be a collaboration with Inner Slot and CBS. Okay, CBS as in the, the big one, big CBS. The one with Paramount Plus. Now, we do not know if it's going to be on TV, like CBS would do with Survivor, or it would be on Paramount Plus. We're not going to be sure yet until we see what um is going to go happen with this. But based on the look, not too bad. It actually looks pretty cool. If you guys are into Dune, this is another game that you might be interested in interested in that is from Funcom. it's a survival mmo and it's going to be on pc on steam steam ps5 xbox series and x and s and it's going to be on gamescom uh this august so so we do not know the the release date but if you want to know more information Gamescom is going to be this August 2024. I might cover it for you guys. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, as mentioned last Monday in the preview article, is going to have a gameplay shown here ahead of the 2024 launch. It's Deliverance 2. Um, here it's this all new look at the Studios medieval sequel swaps between bloody battles and comedy as it shows up some different encounters players find themselves in. There's no release date yet, but the project is expected to be on PC, PS5, Xbox Series S and S this year. Slitterhead has another one for you guys, and it's going to be on November release date. 
This is by Silent Hill creator Corito Toroma. Revealed a trailer that the next twisted creation later ahead at this year's presentation. It will be it will from be from the broken game studio keeps the nightmare creatures from Silent Hill comes towards tools you have to give tools to progress. Specifically it looks like you'll be able to switch between humans and animals to get around when the game launches on November eighth, two thousand twenty four. There's also an interview that they did. If you guys are interested in that, I'll link you the article, and then you can also look into this interview, and then check out the preview of the game. For those of you interested in a global PC alpha test, a new a new game called Delta Force Hawk Ops is available here in July. It is the first person shooter gameplay with Several locations showing off how to be able to cooperate with a team and complete missions. And there's going to be a PC Alpha test in July before the game comes to more platforms down the line. So it is still in beta testing mode as mentioned. For those of you who want a lighter fare, we have Killer Bean in its early access coming up this summer. Tongue-in-cheek action game Killer Bean is bringing its up top over-the-top sandbox gameplay in 2024 summer. A trailer for the title showed there's more to Killer Bean than many meet as expected. As footage showed the ability to drive card and jet skis, break dance through bullets, switch between first and third person. At this point, it's more of a question what you cannot do in Killer Bean. And there's going to be more revealed on summer. Water stop, wonder stop. I believe this is how you spell this. You say this. Is a cozy game with a dark secret. This is from Anapura Interactive, Ivy Road, and the Stanley Parable. Creator David Warden. So, if you play the Stanley Parable, this is the guy that made this game, basically. Revealed a new game, Wonder Stop, at Summer Game Fest, revealing Cozy's farming sim might have a few secrets to hide. Life in Wonder Stop seems pleasant as we watch its protagonist garden make tea in small fairy tale town. It isn't long, however, until the quiet start, quiet life gets to them. We'll learn more about what happens in this year What's behind? What's beneath the surface of this town? Find out on PC, PS5, and Steam later this year. Then the next one we have is New World Antrium, October release date for PC and consoles, and that is coming from Amazon. So the creators of New World basically has something for you. It's an upcoming MMO New World Antrium secure a release date of October 15, 2024. This is basically an advanced and upgraded New World that includes all previously released content such as the Rise of the Angry Earth expansion and new content for players to enjoy. Additionally, if you're a new player looking to hang out with a friend of PC, New World Antrium will support crossplay between platforms. So this will be also on consoles as well. So get ready for that. And of course, they 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 have to have Power World as mentioned in the preview article last Monday. And there's more than just Pals this time. There's a brand new island to explore. Maybe I'm coming back, huh? Last year's breakout Pokemon like Power World is getting more content as announced at Summer Game Fest. A trailer for Pocket Pair's massively mo popular monster catching experience revealed that players can expect to receive an update soon and that adds more pals, a new raid, a new island, a higher camp level cap, and more. It's it's all set to cup to drop 
with a new update coming June 27. So at the end of this month, meaning there's only a few weeks left before the power world changes in some big way. Adding to the good news is that the Pocket Bear confirmed that the update will also be receiving servers for Xbox. So it's dedicated servers. So if you are an Xbox user and you've been wanting some dedicated servers for you guys, Power Road is going to give you guys that for the new update on June 27 or a little bit later than that. Then we have Monster Hunter Wild, as mentioned in the preview article last week as well, get the crossplay on all platforms. So if you are into Monster Hunter, the series, and Wild in particular, you're going to be able to play on PC, Steam, PS5, Xbox Series X and S. A new trailer shown here will be while well, clarifying the cross progression will not be supported, however, crossplay is still coming as well. So get ready for that. It will be coming July. I mean not July, but in 2025. Um, Kinetsu Jigami, Path of the Goddess, July release date is coming. So for those of you who are interested in this, it is a PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series X and S game, July 19, 2024. It's Kintsu Gami, Bath of the Goddess. So if you guys are interested on that, it is available on those platforms. And if you are a, a Xbox Game Pass subscriber, you get it also day one. Phantom Blade Zero that will break neck action world tour demo as shown here. We have Phantom Blade Zero will be on let's see here. It will be it will not be it will be in July. Now game actually no. It will be having an event in July, excuse me. I read that a little bit wrong. So there's good be it's still not ready for release date, but there's gonna be a world tour demo to showcase the game like around the world. And it's going to be it's going to be next in July with China Joy and then Gamescom in August. And then the Tokyo Game Show in September. If this game is not ready yet, obviously, it's going to have a little bit of a world tour. So once again, if you're in China Joy, if you're going to China Joy in July, the game will be available to look at. Then if you're going to Gamescom, that will be in August. And if you're going to Tokyo for Tokyo Game Show, that will be in September. And because Summer Game Fest 2024 is over, that doesn't mean the game events are not over yet. Oh no, as, I'm a rec as, a, as I am recording this, Ubisoft Forward is going on, and expect me to make a video about that within the next few, out few days. Uh, Ubisoft Forward is responsible for, well, I just said it, Ubisoft. And the biggest, the biggest thing that's coming up in terms of Ubisoft, most likely, is um, is going to be Assassin's Creed, is and it's also mostly going to be about upcoming titles. But we're also looking forward to, if you're watching my channel in particular, the X Defiant Season One. Keep in mind, we are continuing Season 0. We are taking a bye week in a way. We have a bye week this week for our Season 1 for Season 0, but we will be back to Activifying next week. We just needed a break after going 7 and 21 in week, th in week 3. So we're like, nah. We're skipping Week 4. We're jumping to Week 5. Just like in the NFL. 
you have to have your bye week. And it is our bye week. But we'll be back and ready in action, ready to go. So, what's your favorite game at Summer Game Fest? That is the question of the day for the audience, for the video. Question of the day is, what's your favorite game at Summer Game, Summer game Fest? I do understand that there was a new, a new, a new trailer for Sonic X Shadow Generations, and I will break that down in another video another time. I bet there's going to be a lot of people wanting that one. But, let me know. That's all for today's gaming news. We'll be back again tomorrow for another recap, and this time, Ubisoft Forward would start, according to my recording time, 45 minutes from now. From the time of the recording. We'll be back tomorrow for more Yuki Gaming News, re recapping Ubisoft Forward. Enjoy, and officially, let the summer of gaming begin.